feed enters at one circular end of the spiral membrane and travels down the membrane here, illustrated by the red arrows. Permeate, illustrated by the yellow arrows, and retentate, illustrated by the dark red arrows, leave at the other end of the spiral membrane. As the feed travels down the spiral, it becomes more concentrated, illustrated by the increasingly deep red color of the arrows. This concentration effect is due to the fact that the transmembrane pressure, that is, the difference in pressure between the feed and the permeate side, induces a flow of permeate through the membrane layer. The membrane is constructed such that the permeate is transferred to a perforated central tube known as the permeate tube from which it leaves. It may be easier to understand how this separation takes place by unrolling the spiral membrane, allowing a further look at the membrane construction. The feet can only enter where indicated since the membrane sheets are glued to form membrane envelopes that contain a spacer which ensures that the permeate is transported to the central tube. The spiral module is constructed by attaching a number of properly glued membrane envelopes to the central tube with a spacer in between to allow room for the feed flow and then by rolling the envelopes such that the spiral is formed. At the outlet end of each spiral, an antitelescope device is placed to prevent the pressure of the liquid from deforming the membrane shape. 